Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. It's actually only 9.30 and church doesn't start until noon, but I got dressed and ready because the way the world is right now, everyone's panicking and thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna die of the coronavirus. And let me explain something really quick. So I'm not taking it lightly. And yes, I know it's serious. Um, even one person dying from it, it's a lot because you know a life is valuable so I, I totally get that but all the panic and the fear and the greed of them purchasing all the toilet paper and stuff like that it's ridiculous and that's what fear and greed does and as a church person as coming from someone who believes the Bible that's fear and greed and I'm oh my goodness okay think about it if we had to be quarantined which would probably be a good idea at the least it'll be two weeks at the most it would be a month now come on do you use five or twelve cases do you use five or twelve cases of toilet paper in one month let alone two weeks or a month you know it's ridiculous stop being greedy think about other people and I'm not talking about just for me because I'm literally out of toilet paper I have two rolls left and we can't find any anywhere so that's what the search is going to be before church today look at this ridiculousness this is ridiculous <laughs> you're for sale <laughs> look at this second store we're at Safeway and look at the shelves empty hello we're just sitting in a random parking lot honestly we have gone to I think four or five stores and we've called maybe like ten not literally ten but cannot find toilet paper anywhere and we need it so if you guys are one of the ones who are in mass hysteria panicking being greedy buying everything that you can are you really gonna use six what, what, what do they call it? The big bundles of toilet paper in 30 days if we are quarantined? Shame on you. Shame on you and you're greedy. Yes, I'm saying it. So anyway, Savannah's with me <laughs> and we went to Starbucks. I'm just upset because um, mm -hmm. I don't know what we're gonna do. Yeah, I don't I don't know what we're gonna do. My opinion is valid. <laughs> My opinion is valid. Thank you very much for validating what I'm saying. I'm upset but I'm- Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. So if you're up one of the ones that did it and you agree with being greedy and selfish and panicking in fear, then that's your opinion. So yeah. But anyway, um it just goes to show how selfish America is. It is. It does go to show how selfish America is. Yeah, this is just our rant right now. Like so, if you I don't I don't know if you've ever seen the show on Netflix called The Society. But basically, a bunch of teenagers get trapped in like this little town or whatever, and the they try to ration out their food, and they ra they rampage the cafeteria because they want more food. But then when it all runs out, what are they, what are they gonna do? They're like exactly. I wish we would have listened. I wish we would have listened exactly. We'll but start killing each other next. Right. But my thing is, it goes to show that if America was really in a state of oh, we had to be quarantined to your house, people would be so greedy and selfish and not thinking of others. And yes, I do know my family comes first, but at the same time, how much do you really, do you normally use six cartons or whatever Maybe cases of toilet paper? And you Yeah, you should, if you paper. use that much toilet paper, you get that checked out, definitely. And did you not wash your hands before? I don't get it. Yeah. The nasties. What What's y'all doing before this? Exactly. But you guys are buying up all the hand sanitizer, but not the soap. <laughs> like, that's concerning for you. That's very course. concerning. So, America, yeah, some of you guys I'm really need help. 99.9% of germs. <laughs> okay, but see, here's the thing. <laughs> if you're not buying hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol in it, then what's the point? You know, think about that. <laughs> You're not being ones. clean. Yeah, the glitter ones <laughs> I from. Have jumps, I can't even say anything. <laughs> yeah, I do too. But anyway, the glitter ones from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> And they're not gonna out. kill germs they're just gonna make you smell pretty and be glittery so that's about it oh anyway we went to Starbucks as you can see I got um, a cold brew she got a favorite. cold brew and I got caramel ribbon crunch and I'm kind of full I kind of wanted breakfast but I'm full I know yeah but it's better anyway because it, it goes down like it why'd you put it on my side there yeah so we did call Walmart, well one Walmart I called, and they said this afternoon they're supposed to be getting another shipment, but they don't know what time. But knowing with my luck, it'll be during church, and I won't be able to go get it, so. And they're not gonna call 
nobody but of course and they're not gonna put anything on hold I mean who calls and put toilet paper on hold I mean I would because I literally need it and we have like what one or two one of our well, one in your, in your bathroom, bathroom and one in my bathroom so we're literally we don't have any more toilet paper left I mean I have this but um not very comfortable we're gonna be looking like those monkeys with the red butts if we use these <laughs> No. I've seen if she's scrunching up her face like I'm not gonna use this on my butt. If it came down to it, go to McDonald's. Is that what you said? No. Oh, I say go to McDonald's and get their toilet paper. Circle K napkins. <laughs> Circle K napkins. But I'm, go to McDonald's. is not a bad idea. No, it's not. I mean, if it comes down it's to it, it's easier than to than than what's the other Yeah, but not thing? not the not paper the towels? not the Vix one. No, to burn your butt. No, to flush down the toilet. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's 11 o'clock. Church starts at noon. What time are we like going to church? Like, what time are we leaving from the parking lot? <laughs> well, actually, we go back home. Prayer starts at 11:30, so we're not gonna go back home. All right, you guys. Um, we'll let you know if we get any toilet paper or not. Which probably will be soon. Oh, what? Saying. Okay, what if we just like we can use napkins for like a few days? It won't hurt. A few days won't hurt, right? Anything? No, it won't hurt anything. Because. You have a lot. Shine has a lot. Yeah, so, in my glove box right there, I have so many napkins from McDonald's and whatever. By the end of the week, we should have toilet paper. Even yeah. if it's Friday. <laughs> yeah, but it's just it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I just need my regular paper tap paper towels, my regular toilet paper, and we'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. That's all that. That's all I need. And, Oh my gosh, there's this one post on Instagram and it was like, um, this old diner, like whatever, he posted it, he was like, um, he was like, I can never survive the apocalypse because I died before I ate a can of beans. <laughs> like, that'd be me. That would be you. gonna open some beans and start eating it. <laughs> no. Yeah. I can eat canned corn, maybe. Yeah. I'm not, see, I'm not worried about that, all that. If they did quarantine us for two weeks or a month, I'm not worried. Yeah, that's not going to be a big deal. Uh, that's not going to be a big deal. They're going to still let us go to the store, I'm but sure. just a certain amount of people. Probably like if your last name is this, only every, you know what I'm saying, that's just try scary, to. That's scary, kind of. That is scary. But I'm just saying, if they had to do something like that. Imagine how it's going to be after the rapture takes place. Yeah. So, you guys, we believe in the rapture, and God is coming back to get his people who are saved and not everyone is going to make it so imagine how it's going to be when the rapture take place people are only, like that like by you think it's crazy name? now oh my wow no, yes so get right people get right get, by church and get right church and let's get go home <laughs> speaking of church <laughs> I can't remember we have church today we have church today so we're at delta shores we're actually about to go get some ramen there's no one out here but I am not afraid. We're in here, I'm watching On My Block with Savannah, and we both have our ramen. It's so good. This is the seafood ramen, and she doesn't like her eggs, so she gave me hers. So, yeah. So this is the extent of our toilet paper, you guys. We got eight rolls. So a church member, when I was telling her the story about you know, what we've been going through and how we didn't have anything and we literally need some. This is from her supply. She didn't have a lot, so she just gave us some, which I'm thankful. And I offered to pay it, pay her for it, but she said no. So at least we have some toilet paper. So see, just with those eight rolls, I'm happy. I don't need to go out to buy some. I mean, I know eventually those will run out, but then I'll deal with it when the time comes. All these people that's going crazy and whatever, like I said earlier, shame on you. Shame on you for going to the store, buying way more than what you need. You're fearful, you're greedy, and shame on you.